Peace, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka, and I'm getting ready to bring you a Divine Feminine reading, okay? I feel like right now we need to dive deep into this message. I am, because what we have been going through collectively have been some weird shit. So, come to find out, Divine Feminines, we may be the problem right now, okay? So, we're going to figure out what it is, get to the root of it. Um, I did pull three cards, um already because i wasn't recording this video previously i was five minutes in y'all and my phone shut it down however something doesn't want me to get this message to y'all because why something is trying to stop us from evolving right but this is going to this is going to help because um we got to close out this cycle it has a lot to do with our emotional patterns okay it's a, it's a lot to do with that and um making certain choices for ourselves, choosing healthier choices, um, and seeing things from a different perspective. So overall, that's what I'm, I am collecting just based off of my experiences with other divine feminines and with my, with myself. Of course, I am divine feminine as well. Um, I've been on a twin flame journey for about two years now. Um, me and my twin are definitely in communication. We are best friends for real. Like we are really trying to work through our differences and learn and heal ourselves individually, okay? This twin flame union literally is about your own evolution. It's about you becoming self-sufficient and you moving in the direction of your life purpose, okay? But your twin just triggers you to do that, all right? So every time you're being triggered, you're being encouraged to face it. And right now, yes, collectively, we are going through this emotional storm and it's very triggering. So I just seen 141 on my timer. So um, I'm gonna dive in, but don't forget, Every twin is on a different stage of their journey. Take what you need, leave what you don't need. However, you may want to still tune in because you may need this if this is not where you're at in your stage, okay? Now, for the most part, what I got was the adjacent possibility card that came out in the reverse position, all right? And when it comes to taking a while to look at things, you're not seeing some stuff. And the reason why you're not seeing it is because of it's a force of habit, Okay, but there's some other ways of going about making these decisions that you have to make because right now I feel like collectively we are, are being forced to evolve and we're being forced to make a certain decision. It's like we have to make this decision. There's no other way around it, right? Whatever that important decision is that you've been faced with. And however, there's some other ways, there's some other options, healthier ones. And we keep getting caught up in this emotional pattern, but it's happening because of fear now the temple path card came out in a reverse position and basically you're off path divine feminine your masculine is mirroring their energy too because i did pull some cards i think yesterday for um i think it was for virgo i think that may have been or may have been collective i'm not sure however but you're off path when it comes to that point take a wider look at things here See from a different perspective, get clear because you're clouded by the illusions of everything that you're seeing and everything that your masculine has done. The second chakra card comes in a reverse. So you're blocked in your sacral chakra. All right, that's the area of your intimacy and creativity. <sighs> Y'all. And I'm looking because I, I still got some of the uh, cards laying here. I never picked them up. But the moon card comes out in a reverse. Next to the hangman had came out in the reverse when I pulled for adjacent possibility. And this is basically about trusting and listening to your intuition. There's a lot of fear and anxiety surrounding this and it's blocking you in your intuition. So it's making it hard for you to change your perspective here and see things a little differently because why you're in this waiting period. Okay. And you're uncertain. You made a lot of sacrifices and because you're not really sure what's going to happen next or what your masculine is going to do, it's kind of pushing you into this energy of being anxious. Okay, that's a pattern or a habit of yours. Um, you're not required to wait for anything. Okay, you always are being called to stand in your integrity and if it's not aligned with that, to keep moving forward. But honestly, what I'm seeing here, it's time to reflect because you could be rushing Okay, and usually sometimes when the masculines are feeling rushed, it's like pressure. It's like some type of pressure. They're feeling pressured. All right, they they aren't ready at this moment, and it's not saying that they're not ready to be with you. You thinking like, why aren't you ready? Like I'm every I'm the perfect you know ingredient to your story. Like what's the problem, right? Why are you stalling? 
Um, and it's bringing fear because you, you've been in a period where you have been sacrificing and waiting for so long, not even just with these masculines, maybe even in karmic um, situations you have, you've been waiting for that person to choose you or to do the right thing. And they never did it. Right. And then now you come along and you meet your divine counterpart and they got you in that same energy and it makes it, it makes you feel like, okay. Maybe they're, they're stalling because they're really not as interested in me as they say. Or maybe they, they're lying and they're still dealing with these karmic situations. Like, and, uh, and all of the messages that are coming through right now, um, collectively, they're triggering as hell because they really are telling us the truth. <laughs> okay. About the situations. And it's, it is, it's triggering, right? But I feel like it's happening because we have to be able to see clearly and we need to be able to see through a 5D perspective. Okay. Um, through a 5D perspective, all right? So, however, what I'm seeing here, right, the justice card comes in reverse. Because there was such an injustice that was done, that's the problem, okay? Because of the disharmony, because they made bad choices in the past, you may feel like, hey, they're still going to do that. This is why the cycle isn't closing out, okay? Um... You did you did good because at one point at one particular cycle we were being guided to choose our happiness to make a decision to choose what we want for ourselves not what anybody else wants and I do feel like we definitely may have surpassed that but when it comes to this pattern here what should um divine feminine take a wider look at Queen of ooh, Queen of Wands upright next to the four of pentacles in a reverse position Okay, so hold on one I So, what should the Divine Feminine take a while to look at? Okay, Queen of Wands, your goals, you're manifesting here. You may not see it, but you are. Okay, you are actually doing a damn thing. People see you. Your masculine sees you. Mm -hmm. And you're still holding on again to some type of emotional pattern here. Um, With this Four of Pentacles in a reverse, it's time for you to release some stuff here. What is it that they need to release? Yep, you sitting on your throne, sitting real pretty, Divine Feminine. And I, I feel like because of your history, not just with the masculine, but just overall, it's hard for you to see that you're actually evolving, that you're actually achieving such wonderful things here. Okay, tell me about the Four of Pentacles here in the reverse. The hang one is here. You need to release. Thank you. The hang one in reverse. The knight of swords in the reverse. And the five of wands in the reverse. It's time for you to release whatever negative emotion that you have about your masculine. It's time for you to change your perspective about why you are in this waiting period. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You may be looking at it here as if your person just rushes in and out. No real, um, no real grounding, no real structure. They just kind of come in to try to save the day, you know, try to end the conflict. Right. And then they go run out and go try to end the conflict with the, <laughs> with the karmic person. It's like what you're seeing with their behaviors is just like what in the hell. Okay. But when they come rushing in, they do come in to cooperate. And you may not be seeing that. It's like each time you guys have this falling out, they come back in and they change, right? They come back in willing to make changes, willing to work on certain aspects of themselves is what I'm seeing. But you you don't you don't really see it because it's still so much conflict happening. So really think about this. What has your masculine said to you? And your last disagreement or falling out that they were going to do different. Okay. Did they say, hey, I'm going to work on this because I know I got some toxic behaviors. They're working on themselves. They're going through this transformation. They're just not doing it at the pace that you want them to do it. But they're doing it at their pace that they feel is best for them. Okay. Now the swords comes out upright. And this is what's causing a lot of anxiety and worry is what I'm seeing here. Now the swords. <laughs> And of course, if you keep, you know, listening to different readings and things like that, and you may be hearing, oh, yeah, they learn, they being deceitful, they doing this. It seems like they're still in that same energy. But remember also, 
the tone lines, okay? So collectively, when we read, you may have surpassed a certain timeline, but even though it still seems very present, it's not. it may not speak of the changes that your person is actually going through in this present moment, okay? Um, mm -hmm, four swords in a reverse position. So it was really, they're recovering, they're healing. It's, this is a recovery period for both of you. So you're supposed to be taking this time to rest, to rejuvenate, just taking a break, right? Pouring back into yourselves to heal. Okay, and this is what it is that Divine Masculine is doing, it seems. Tell me about the Temple Path in the reverse. Mm-hmm, Three of Wands. Right, and that's what everything I spoke of, basically. Everything I spoke of. Three of Wands upright. So when it comes to you seeing progress and things like this in this situation here, it just doesn't seem like you're seeing it. That's all. It doesn't seem like it. you reconcile, but it just seems like things aren't getting better. You're not getting to the part where you guys are actually celebrating, reaching your, you know, being in a relationship, moving in together, whatever it is that you desire to have with your person. You're just looking at it like this is just all up in their head. They, this is not going to come to fruition. So you're not really trusting the process. You're not trusting divine timing at this time. What is this emotional pattern? That divine feminine is having right now. What is this pattern based off of? Where does it stem from? And it's like what you're being triggered by is because they come in here with these small offers, okay? <clears throat> it's that same energy like they did before. It's like they come in and offer you these small offers and never really. <laughs> giving you the big one that you're looking for <laughs> look at this look at the queen of pentacles sitting there looking at the offer like hmm <laughs> that's the one i want i can give myself all of that other stuff change your perspective here about this the hang one comes out in the reverse again okay four pentacles right next to it again it's time to overcome some of these these issues okay open yourself up just a little bit more open your heart just a little bit more here because Again, once you know when you do that, they begin to open up too as well. Tell me about the hang one here. Yep, Knight of Cups. I've just seen in the reverse, it didn't pop out. But again, it's like when it comes to them coming in, you know, and coming from their heart space and things like that. Like it's just they're not coming in the way that you're expecting them to. Mm hmm. And that's what it is. It's like you you're expecting or you're you're looking at looking for them to come in in a certain way or manner. Cause you feel like you've made enough sacrifices. You feel like you waited long enough. And now you're just at this point where you're tired. Mm -hmm. Five of Swords in a reverse position. Next to the higher part comes out too on top of that. Okay, again, like you guys did, you reconcile. Now it's time for you to find a resolution to your problems. What I'm hearing is like this is something here that you're not supposed to work on alone. So whatever it is that you're burdened by, whatever it is that you're feeling, whatever you're stressed out about, whatever is holding you hostage here to the past. Speak about this to your person is what I'm hearing. OK, I mean, truly, don't argue. Don't do anything. You can just let them know, like, oh, I'm feeling real like insecure right now. Like, I feel like. Things ain't going to really change. It just still kind of just seems like this is what's happening here. Okay. Express what you're feeling because this is not meant for you to carry alone. Like you guys are supposed to do this together. This is what the journey is about as far as you evolving, being able to commit to yourself and reconciling your differences within your own self, but it's helping the both of you guys. So again, you guys have reconciled for most of you got y'all got back together. But now is you're going to have to be able to move on here without holding on to the pain, okay? Without holding on to the resentment or whatever the grudge may be that you may be having, especially because they aren't making a decision as of yet. Their, make, their decision is that they're choosing to work on bettering themselves right now, okay? So tell me here about the higher part. Yeah, Queen of Swords in the reverse. So it puts you in this energy here where you may begin to feel very overly emotional. Let's just put it that way. Okay. So set your emotions to the side 
and just view things with clarity here and logic and be honest, be straightforward as the Queen of Swords upright would do. Okay, about the commitment issue. About them, whatever it may be. I don't even feel like you need to just don't rush them. You understand? Don't rush it because you do want them to fully transform. You do want them to be able to go through their process so you won't have to repeat these cycles. But you can probably say, like, you may not even be saying you want, you know, a commitment. It's kind of like you're just doing whatever. But if you feel like they're being rebellious, if you feel like y'all not in alignment in some area, then you need to say it, okay? Because when two come together and they agree, what? Then God is in the midst. But just literally, like, hey, you know what? This is what I'm feeling about that. About this waiting period. And you know, it may not change anything, but it it may change things too. You never know, right? But at least you're not holding on to that in your heart and projecting that energy back off to your person. Yep, nine of swords in the reverse. It helps you to heal. It helps you to, to be able to cope with whatever y'all are going through together. And when you do this, you guys learn to cope together as a partnership by being very transparent in your feelings. Whatever your fears are, whatever your anxieties are, whatever the negativity may be, even if you feel like you at a, a breaking point, even if you don't trust your person, I know my math would be like, you don't trust me. And I'd be like, it's not that. I think that may be it, you know, it's because of a lot of things that may have taken place. So you kind of just get like, you're not sure. I don't know if I should trust you or not. I don't know if this is safe because you're looking at the past problems that you guys have had and you're not looking and staying focused on the now and what spirit is already telling you and showing you about your situation. You've already gotten the downloads. You've already been told what's going to happen for you as long as you do what you stay in alignment. And even though we've been told these things, it's almost as if it's like going in one ear coming out the other because we're so blocked in our intuition at this point. Um, when it comes to this, we can't see it. What is it that Divine Feminine should be seeing? Nine of Wands comes up. That even though you're in the face of adversity right now, that you still should stand tall and strong and be resilient. Don't get defensive, okay? But stand strong and be resilient in this fight. Because again, this is not about the commitment. It's about your commitment to self. The moon card comes out. Okay. So what you're seeing, even though the path may seem dark and you can't see, and that's what it is. You don't know what's going to happen next. You just know that it feels like the will isn't turning. It feels like things aren't getting better with the will of fortune in the reverse. This is where the anxiety is coming in at. Hey, will this get better? It's, it just feels like I'm blindly walking on this path. And it's like all these entities out to try to get me right now. And I don't know what's happening. I don't know if I'm going to be supported in this. I don't know. You know, all of these thoughts may be coming to your mind. But you are on a new journey. Page of Wands. Upright. You are, you are beginning. This is just the beginning stages of this new journey. You're not going to be able to see everything. This is a time right now where you have to move into a state of trusting, okay? Because time, divine timing is on your side. It's just that divine timing kicks in when ego was in the way. So it delays the process. If you, when you do that, you're saying, hey, I'm, I don't really trust you, divine. I don't trust you, my angelic team. Mm -hmm. Eight of wands in a reverse and the eight of pentacles are right. Okay? So it's a lot of misunderstandings and delays because of that. It's like... It's like the energy is propelling you forward. Things are coming at you quickly. Yes, it is. A lot of communication things, especially from the heavens. It's a lot of stuff that you got to work on. But because it's so much that you have, you have to work on and so much that you may be even focusing on, you're missing the communication. Okay? And that's where the stagnation starts to come in at. Because you may be so focused on trying to cultivate this love with your person. Yeah, in delaying letting go of the emotional patterns or behaviors 
or ideas. And so the universe is now instigating the change, forcing us to evolve, forcing us to change. Divine masculine and feminine. Okay, we're all going through it. Look at that. The emperor comes out. Yep. In the reverse. Okay, next to the four of cups, next to the nine of cups, next to the eight of swords. Everything that's happening right now is happening for y'all greater good. Basically, it's helping you to evolve. It's helping you to grow. It's helping the emperor, emperor in the reverse to become the emperor, right? In the upright position because they have goals. They want to be able to get their, their wish fulfillment too as well, right? And yes, they have for some rejected the gift from the universe, which is divine feminine because they're so focused on the loss, the three lost cups, right? There's three focus on spilled milk. God damn it. My phone's ringing. It's distracting me. But here with this Eight of Swords in the reverse position, they're going to find a solution to this. They're facing their fears and their truths. Trust me. You may not see it because you may be looking at them like they lack structure and discipline. Okay, they still in that Emperor reverse energy. But they are finding solutions and ways to get to their happiness. Divine Feminine, this is not your part of the story. This is for your Divine Masculine. They have to do the work. You can't be triggered. I know. And if it does happen, just face it. Why do I feel this way? Where is this coming from? Okay. But break, dissect it. And that's what I'm here to do. To help you to dissect whatever it is you're feeling. What messages do you have for Divine Feminine? What is it that they need to know? What's the lessons that they should be learning here? What is it that they should be doing at this time? Sonia comes out. So one of your ancestors are definitely with you and helping you on this journey. Okay. Um, Archangel Michael even with you. Okay. So you got your, your guides, your ancestors, your um, archangels and everything all helping you right now to move through this journey. Archangel Michael is giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. And all you have to do is just be willing to take care of yourself. And allow them to do whatever they got to do on the masculine side. Bethany comes out. Okay. And let me see what this card is. Look, Zayna, you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. Let me tell you, Natural Goddess is one of the people I connect with. Definitely follow her on Instagram. She um said this today. In a message we were sending back and forth to each other. The worst is now behind the Divine Feminines. We just got to relax and feel safe. Divine Feminine, you don't feel safe. That's the problem. You have been working ceaselessly on this and juggling so many different things and everybody else's problems and even the Divine Masculine's problems. Now it's time to give back to yourself. Now it's time to take care of yourself. This is important, okay, so that you will be able to feel happier and have more of a peaceful mind and be able to feel safe. Now it's time for you to stop worrying and to release that you are protected, you are safe. This is a period right now to rest and rejuvenation rules. Tell me about Sonia. The Hermit card comes out upright and the Ten of Cups is in a reverse, okay? You're unhappy, basically. And you may just feel very disconnected. I, I do feel like generationally there's some stuff going on in your family too as well for someone. I don't know who that's for. When it comes to marriages, when it comes to partnerships, you may have women in your family who don't have spouses or, or counterparts, right? They, they have taken and just totally withdrawn their energy from even the thought of having that, okay, because of all of the turmoil. And I feel like that may be something you don't want for yourself, Okay, this is something you may have seen in your family, the division and, and not being able, your mother, your grandmothers, not being able to reach their happiness, divorce, mm -hmm. major imbalances. It's like you never seen the rewards of an actual happy family. Even probably within you, if you were married, you're probably even divorced. Or if you had children by someone, you're not with them any longer, right? Take and go within. And I don't know if this ancestor that's coming through is a grandmother or something. It's like they don't want you to 
repeat those same patterns. They're at peace right now. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about, you know, what legacy they may have left behind, especially when it comes to marriage. I'm hearing that was a choice that they made. Tell me about Archangel Michael. Don't worry about that being your fate. The Ace of Swords in the reverse position. There's a lot of confusion. You're confused, Divine Femme. That's it. You're just confused. Archangel Michael is helping you to give you some clarity right now so you can get to this breakthrough. Yep, you're confused about the journey. Higher fun in the reverse. You're confused about your journey, your life purpose, the 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 divine the 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 I can't even get it out. This twin flame journey because it's like and let me see here. It, it's challenging. That's what it is. The chariot card comes out. So that's what brings in the confusion. Because there's so many challenges. There's so much adversity. It's just like it seems like you get through one cycle, get to the next cycle. God damn it, it's more challenges. There's more things I got to overcome. And it starts to become kind of like, oh, I don't think I'm going to do this no more, right? What's the point? It's too much hurt. It's too much pain. This, this is familiar. This reminds me of something I've already been through. I don't want to go through that any longer. Make sure my time is still warm because this phone be tripping on me. Yep, Knight of Swords in the reverse. It's scattered in your thinking because of the fears when it comes to your masculine. Yep, the strength card comes out. Yeah. Because it's like you may just have a lot of doubt. Hey, are they going to make a decision to choose love? They've been running from love. They still are. And now saying, hey, I got to work on myself. <laughs> I ain't ready, right? Still finding a reason to run from it, right? But that's where your doubt comes in. That's where you lack the confidence. Because something tells you like your ego, this person may not choose me. I'm still going to be left out in the cold. But what I heard, choose you, choose yourself. Because every time you choose yourself, every time you close a cycle, the universe rewards you with abundance. And because this is your divine counterpart, guess what? They begin to think and see. They already are in their high priestess energy, I feel like, or high priest. They're already at this point where they are um, really catching these downloads. They're just not telling you a lot of things is what I'm hearing. It's a lot that they're just keeping to themselves. Okay. And that also probably makes you uncomfortable too. Because you're like, well, God damn it. I feel like I'm in the dark. You ain't telling me nothing. I don't know nothing. Yep. Stand your ground. Mountains. Why are you telling divine feminists stand their ground? I feel like don't be moved by what the adversity may be. The obstacles. Mm -hmm. Page of Pentacles. Stand your ground. If they're being deceptive, seven of swords, wearing a mask, a lion, stand your ground. Get, you want the truth. Basically, you don't even hide your truth. You need to speak your truth. And I don't know why I keep saying truth. It just keeps coming to me that way. Because you got plans. You got goals. You're faithful. You're, you've been being very grounded here to this situation, even through their immaturity or their foolishness or, you know, the lack of commitment, however it falls for you. But in order for these games to end, because that's what it feels like, y'all, stay on your ground. Yep. The high, the um, hang one in the reverse mountains and then i'm gonna end it you guys come on thank you it says hold firm to what you believe in or are focusing on because it is absolutely right now that heaven and earth are supporting you mountain energy is powerful because it firm it is firmly rooted in the great mother and it reaches high to the great father. If you're feeling challenged or pressured at this time, know that your spirit is more powerful than you think. 
you are resilient and grounded and the energy in the air of the mountains is giving you the unshakable strength to be who you are. Take time to root yourself deeply in the energy of the earth before welcoming in the energies of heaven. If you're not sure what you need to do next, the mountain card invites you to stay exactly where you are. Talk things over with those around you and know that change will come. Do you hear me? You will be whole and well at the end of this current situation. You heard that. And it will not stand in the way of your future growth and expansion. <laughs> you just got the answer. That right there alone, that's confirmation. Okay? You will be whole and well at the end of this current situation. And it will not stand in the way of your future growth and expansion. Stand your ground, Divine Feminine. All right, y'all? Peace.